after a slow start over the first three days of our trip down to various challenges, the journey's finally settled into a rhythm. It's taken us five days to get to Nairobi. Enoch says it usually takes less. Normally, without the challenges we have had, from Mombasa to Malaba, I take three days. After I am clear of the border, it is a day to Kampala. The next stage of our journey will take us through Nakuru to the Kenyan border with Uganda at Malaba and finally on to Kampala. From Nairobi, it's an easy drop past the scenic escarpment that overlooks the famous Rift Valley. We make good time to Nakuru town, our stop for the night. We start early on day six, no major hiccups, and finally, it does appear our luck is beginning to change. After almost 10 hours of non-stop driving, so after the slow start we had after we left Mombasa because of various challenges, we made some really, really good progress. And the good news is that we're 80 kilometers from the Kenya border with Uganda. That's the border town of Malaba. As dusk beckons, we arrive at the border. When you get to the border, you hand over your documents to the clearing agent, you park the truck, and he will pay the tax on the Ugandan side. Seven days after we began our journey, we finally crossed over to Uganda, and the final leg of our journey begins. So we've got about eight hours to go, 240 kilometers to cover. Should be a breeze for Enoch. I'm pretty excited about it, probably not showing because of the exhaustion over the last few days. It's been a week of tears, frustration, exasperation. But through it all, the confidence of the man driving the truck got us through. Wabat Nagila, CGTN, Kampala, Uganda.